Hey, what's up everyone? Kobanermani456 here today to my Let's Play on Sonic 3 and Knuckles for the Sega Genesis. So, last time we did Carnival Night Zone, and here we are today on Ice Cap Zone, and let us! We're on a freaking snowboard! This is so awesome! Like, no joke, I love the cinematic scenes that Sega added to this game. It's just, I don't know. I feel like they really did capture Sonic you know, personality in this game to where, you know, back then, you know, Sega's target was to actually create a rival to Mario, but, you know, have something that actually made Sonic unique to where, you know, he seemed a bit cooler, a bit edgier, and, uh, you know, th their target was basically, you know, to get teenagers and, you know, young adults, and, you know, they tried to do the best that they could with uh, Sonic to where you can see. In a lot of sections, you know, they have Sonic doing all kinds of stuff, like, in their games, where Sonic's, like, on a skateboard, or, you know, he's sliding down cities or whatever. It's just, I don't know. I just feel like they really did a good job capturing, you know, Sonic's image in this game. And, okay, what the heck is going on right here? I'm trying to get into a secret area. There we go. I wanted to get that giant ring right there. So that's the second giant ring in this stage, but, uh, yeah. I'm not going to be turning into Super Sonic right now because uh, one thing I do love about this stage is the music around here. It just sounds so amazing in my opinion. Just listen to it. In fact, it's actually um, based off the uh, tune from Michael Jackson called Who Is It? You can find tons of remixes of uh, Who Is It? with Ice Cap Zone on uh, YouTube because I actually believe that you know, this stage's music is uh, a fan favorite to a lot of people. But one cool thing right here you can actually see is that uh, Sonic's lightning shield right there actually makes that dude's ice spikes kind of melt. And then you can just attack him, which I think is actually pretty freaking awesome. A little nice effect that they added to this game. Anyway, be careful around here. Because uh, this lightning shield is like a lifesaver around here. Because there are many sections around here to where you have to time your jumps super precisely and... With the lightning shield, it gives you an extra chance, basically. But be careful around here, because you can easily get crushed by those things if you're not careful. And uh, that is the last thing we want. Because, you know, that's noogie. Alright, so let's be careful around here. Now, one thing you don't want to do around here is spin dash, because you'll spin dash straight into those spikes. I've done that before a lot of my own time, and... Uh, yeah, not too cool. So that's a mistake that I always try to remember. Oh gosh. My gosh. Freaking ice is slippery around here. Is there anything around here? No. Just trying to see if there's a giant ring somewhere. Nothing up there. Okay. Let's try here. Nothing. Okay. I kind of actually don't recall the giant ring locations in uh, this stage because... I mean, most of the time, I already had, uh, most of the time, I already had, like, uh, you know, Super Sonic already, so I never had to be too concerned about that. Anyway, just entered into this special stage, you know, for the heck of it. Let's see. We can probably get something around here. Oh! I would love that fire shield right there, but I don't think it's actually going to be too useful for us on this stage right here. Alright, nice. Oh gosh! Oh no! I accidentally dang it! Man, I was trying to see how far I could get up there, but oh well, I guess it's alright. Alright, Tails. I'm gonna get on here. You're my you're my little tool. You get down there and you push this for me. Freaking Tails! So useless, man. I hate Tails in this game. Anyway, just get on here, slide all the way down here. Whee! Look at that, Tails just ditched us. What the heck? It's like just like tapping his shoe, like, Tails, where are you? Anyway, though, yeah, I don't know, I've always liked this stage, it's just like you do have to be careful around here for many hazards, because you can get screwed over quite a lot here, especially by those big giant pillars that try to um, crush you around here. There are so many sections around here to where you can just like get crushed, it kind of sucks actually. Okay, now this right here, uh, this is a bit more difficult because we don't have the lightning shield and we just gotta time our- Thank you, Tails. Thank you, Tails. You're actually useful there, but only because the ceiling was kind of forcing you to get me there. Okay, jump- No! Oh, what the heck? I accidentally pressed double jump twice. Dang it. And I've lost my water shield. Just lovely. Okay, you know what? 
Turn in Super Sonic. I don't even care, man. I'm not gonna lose Super Sonic and just get screwed over here. No siree. Okay. Oh my god, man! I hate that section right there. That's probably one of the most annoying sections, because you just get forced into this endless LOOP! No. No! Oh my god, man! Super Sonic so hard to control! Oh my god! What the heck? How am I sucking so much right here all of a sudden? From just one simple jump. Jesus Christ, man. All right, there we go. That's more like it. All right, let's get down. Get ready to skadoosh. Oh gosh, I knew there was a spring right there. That's why I was super careful. All right, there we go. Whoa! Okay, we just got like let go right there. That was craziness. Oh, and here we are facing off against the first boss right here. So basically, what this boss does is he gets these little snowballs around here that surround him. You gotta make sure you time your jumps just right in order to take him out. But because we're Super Sonic, we don't have to be concerned about that. You know, we just go all Super Saiyan, you know, mode on him. Anyway, there we go. That is the end of Ice Cap Zone Act One. Yeah. I have no idea why I do that, but anyway. Now that we're finished there, we can go on to Ice Cap Zone Act 2, and what the heck is that? Okay, well that was random. Okay, now make sure you get this lightning shield right here. But first, take him out. Like, I gotta say, I love that temporary shield. Because basically, those spikes right there, normally they would hurt you in Sonic the Hedgehog 2. You would actually have to wait, you know, to actually, you know, attack the guy, but... In this game, because you have the temporary shield, you can more easily, if you time your jump just right, actually take out an enemy, even if they have spikes. And look at the speed! So awesome, man. I love Act 2 of... Oh, what the heck? Oh, we got a spin dash here. Nice. I love the speed around here on this um, act right here. It's just so freaking awesome. Let's see, do we have... Okay, we don't have anything right there. Just trying to see if there's a giant ring anywhere. They really did put a lot of effort in this game. You can definitely tell just by all the little effects that they add and stuff like that. It's really awesome. Let me see here. Tails always screwing up my movement right there. There we go. That's more like it. Alright, so let's see here. I'm almost positive there was a giant ring down there somewhere, but I could have missed it. I don't know. Anyway, there we go. One up. Oh gosh, whoa, there is a bed. Oh my god, okay. No, we're definitely not going to be doing that right there. There's like a bed of Eggman, like, explosions right there, and Tails being the stupid derp he is, is already getting hurt by him. It's kind of funny, actually. I like that. Good job, Tails. <laughs> this is a jerk to Tails sometimes. And I know some people think I'm actually serious when I blame him for some stuff, but I am completely joking around. I don't mean that stuff. I mean, it's obvious. If I was blaming him for some of the stuff, like, you know, last episode Super Sonic dying to where I was just being reckless right there. I mean, come on. Not that stupid. Anyway. Oh, 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 you just did that? You just did that? You getting the D tonight, man. You take that. You take that. You take that Super Saiyan Super Sonic Ball of Justice. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Just going like Dragon Ball Z mode. Ah! I'm like hyper today. I don't even know why. Just like, I feel like going crazy all of a sudden right here. But look at this! We have a freaking gold mine up here! Look at that song, just like standing on the edge of stuff. Look at this though, this is awesome. Alright, we're gonna come back down here. Just make sure you don't get crushed. Ooh! Oh my god, it almost sucked the breath out of me right here. But anyway, okay, this boss here, really, really simple. All you gotta do is basically jump on, you know, this platform right here, and he's going to shoot ice from all different directions. But uh, because we're supersonic, we don't have to be concerned about getting frozen. But, you know, if we were regular Sonic, which we sadly couldn't go back to, uh, basically, we just have to make sure we don't get frozen and, uh, you know, not die. But anyway, let's go ahead and hit the capsule. 
And there we go, that does it for Ice Cap Zone, so thank you all so much for watching. Please remember to comment, like, and subscribe, stay tuned for more vids, walkthroughs, and updates. Hope you all enjoyed the video, and next time we will be going to Launch Base Zone. Also, let me know in the comments below what you all think about Ice Cap Zone, is it one of your favorite stages, you know, is, uh, do you like the music in it, and uh, also make sure to check out the Michael Jackson remix uh, if you're interested in the uh, description below. But anyway, that does it, so thanks again. See you all, have a good day. Peace, Cobalt Reminds.